Hi, my name is Jamie Alexander. I'm one of the co-founders and the executive director of Learning Equality, which is a nonprofit organization focused on building and supporting equitable education technology and effective use of OER in environments with no internet access. Today, I'll be talking about one specific slice of our work around automating parts of the curriculum alignment process, which addresses a critical and labor-intensive area of work that supports effective discovery and use of OER in educational settings. As some background, Learning Equality builds and supports Calibri, which is an adaptable set of open source software and openly licensed materials designed for offline first teaching and learning. It's being used now in over 220 countries and territories around the world, fueled by its open do-it-yourself adoption model and strategic implementing partners. And we've aggregated a library of nearly 200,000 OER so ensuring that content is well organized and discoverable is essential, especially when content's being distributed offline and to environments where educators have limited time and experience using technology. One of the key needs we identified early on was for curriculum alignment, and we built Calibri Studio to support the process of organizing open content to particular national standards, which we've now worked with curricular experts to do across a number of countries, including Uganda, Kenya, Jordan, Honduras, Chile, Ghana, and Ethiopia. And supporting this manual alignment work has both provided us with a deeper understanding of the process and its challenges, as well as this large data set of aligned content that we realized could be used to train and validate automation methods. So we've been working with UNHCR, Vodafone Foundation, UNESCO, and other partners over the past few years to think about ways to address the challenge that in low resource contexts, there's often a scarcity of time, personnel, and tools for curriculum alignment to support effective ed tech implementation. And through a variety of design sprints, consultations, and hackathons with diverse stakeholders and experts, we broke down what the process of curriculum alignment involves and what parts might be most amenable to being supported by automation. And we honed in on two specific areas. The first is digitization of standards, going from source curricular documents into machine-readable formats that can be used within an educational platform. And the second was matching of content to specific topics. And I'll be sharing how we're tackling each of these during this presentation. First, to get a bit more specific about what we mean by matching content to standards. If we have a set of digitized standards, which we can think of as a tree of topics, and we have a large library of open educational resources, the goal is to find correlations between a topic and specific resources from that library. To make this a bit more concrete, consider this specific place within the taxonomy of a national curriculum. The goal is to recommend to the curation expert top content that would help to support teaching or learning this specific concept or objective. So that might mean saying that this specific video on drawing perpendicular lines is relevant and could support this learning objective. Whereas this exercise on volume of cylinders maybe is less relevant and we wouldn't recommend that to the curricular expert for inclusion in that topic. So earlier this year, in collaboration with UNHCR, Schmidt Futures, and the Learning Agency Lab, we ran a Kegel machine learning competition leveraging a massive data set that we've accumulated of nearly 200,000 content resources and their associated metadata, a wide variety of curricular and other taxonomies, and over 300,000 correlations or links between specific pieces of content and topics within these curricular taxonomies. We ended up with over 1,000 teams competing and some very efficient and effective models, which have now been released as open source along with the data sets. And we're working to integrate these models into Calibri Studio to be able to support curators using that platform, but they're also available for others to use within their own platforms and tools. The other part of this process that's intensively time consuming is extracting the curricular structures from these raw source documents. So what you're seeing here is an excerpt from the KICD, the Kenyan Curricular Body's Grade 9 ICT curriculum. And it's easy for us as humans to see and understand the intentions and structure of a page like this. But until recently, it was really hard to build a general purpose automated extraction system with all the different 
columns and flow of text and different meanings of different parts of this, how to parse that into something meaningful and well-structured uh, is very challenging to do in an automated way. But I want to show you uh, what we've been able to accomplish. So here, this is an automated system taking that source image, extracting the text, and pulling out the taxonomy into a computer-readable format with topics and subtopics that represent the taxonomy of that place within the curriculum. So let's dig in a bit on how this actually works. So we start with an image like this of the source standards. We then pass it through OCR, which gives us plain text laid out on a page. And then we leverage the power of GPT-4, which is one of the models underlying new generative AI models like ChatGPT, providing it with instructions on its task and a target format that we want to convert this text into. And we then get out a computer-readable format, which we can parse and pull into our educational platforms for use for curriculum alignment. So the overall end-to-end -end pipeline that we've now built by combining all these pieces together is starting with a document like this, whether it's curricular standards or the table of contents from a textbook, taking a picture of that, passing it through this OCR to get the plain text, using GPT-4 to extract the structure into a machine-readable format and getting a taxonomy, then using these recommender models that we developed as part of the Kaggle competition to recommend specific pieces of content to different places within that taxonomy, and then bringing that into Calibri Studio, but again, this could be other tools and other platforms, so that we end up with a draft aligned content channel that matches that taxonomy and has a set of content aligned to the particular places in that curriculum. That can then be reviewed and vetted um, and augmented by the curricular expert, but this process that would have otherwise taken weeks can be reduced to a matter of hours. So if you have projects where you're either engaging in curriculum alignment yourselves and want to explore ways to streamline that process, or if you're collecting data sets around curricular metadata or OER and want to share those to help train these models further, or if you want to jump right in on co-developing or funding these tools as open source public goods for use in any platform, then we'd love to chat. Thank you so much for your time.